Hey everyone, Eric Chappell, Community Evangelist for InfraWorks 360, and I wanted to share a quick infra tip with you about changing the slope of the grate of your inlet. So here's a common example of where you might use this. I've got an inlet here, and if I click on the road, you'll see that I've got a vertical curve in this area with my low point marker about here. So let's say I want to make a change, and I want to slide this inlet down to where that low point is. So what's going to happen here is that the inlet was up here on the straight slope, and actually it's part of the vertical curve, but it's, it's on a part of the road that's sloping differently than it is now. And you'll see it if I zoom into the inlet. You'll see that the back side of the inlet is sticking up a little higher than the front side. And I can actually fix that in InfraWorks 360 because, after all, in the real world, um, we don't install inlets like this. We like them to be nice and flush and clean with the pavement. They also like to be a little bit more tight against the curb. Of course, some are up under the curb. So how does this work? Well, the first thing to, to know is that when you use the Add Pavement Drainage command, it automatically picks up what the road slope is and it assigns these slopes um, for you which is pretty nice. But what if you make a change like I did and you need to modify that? Well, all you do is you right click the inlet and go to properties. And you're going to want to make sure you check the auto update button so that the changes you make actually get pushed to the to the model automatically. And as I scan down through the different properties of this pipeline connector which was created with the pavement drainage tools here in uh, in drainage design for InfraWorks 360, we see that there is a drainage network command and we also have the add pavement drainage command that I can get to by right clicking a road. So this inlet was created with one of these two commands and the reason I'm specifying that is I want you to understand that it wasn't created with the pipeline or pipeline connector commands. These are kind of different objects. These are made with the core tools. We're dealing with an inlet that was created with the drainage design for InfraWorks 360 vertical application. And it's going to have some of these extra properties like top longitudinal slope. So here's the key. We want to change this value to match our road slope. Now I've placed my inlet at a low point, so the slope's basically going to be zero here. But you may actually move one to a part of the road that has a slope to it. So how do you find out what that slope is? Well, one quick way is just to click on a PVI and look at the tooltips. You can see up here I'm at 3.83 percent and strangely, not coincidentally, that matches the slope of this inlet 0.038. Noting that the road slope is typically expressed in percent and this top longitudinal slope value is expressed in unit per unit like foot per foot or meter per meter. So basically just move the decimal point two places and you've got the percentage. So in my case, like I said, I'm at a low point, so mine's easy. I can just go in here and change this to zero. And now my inlet is parallel with the surface of the pavement. It's sticking up above the pavement a little bit, so I might want to drop it down just a bit. And I can, you know, adjust that until I get it where I want it. Now, uh, just to show you how this works, I'm going to put a ridiculous number in here, like two. And you can see that it rotates the grate, not the inlet box underneath. So that's a, that's a good thing to know. You wouldn't want that box rotating under there. So there you go. That's today's infra tip on how to change the slope of an inlet grate.